This is the Olga Korper Gallery. This amazing gallery is left hidden away at Roncesvalles, but once you find it, you never want to leave. I borrowed $2,000 from a friend um, to start my gallery. Now that's totally ridiculous. Even then that was ridiculous. But here I am and my friends claim that I have horseshoes tied to my feet. your grandmother. You don't get cookies, you don't get, you know, TV time, you get artists and collectors and philosophers sitting in her kitchen and talking about art and culture and the movement in the contemporary world and, you know, what's happening with the AGO. It's, uh, it's a completely different kind of life and it's such a magical space. never ever fall in love with a particular building and what you do is you think location, location, location. Well, I didn't know any better so heck with that. It was a total disaster. It had been, it had been deserted for 40 years when I got it, but the space spoke to me. That's all I needed. But to, to recognize good art from mediocre art takes a trained eye. And the only way you get a trained eye is by using it. You know, just like an athlete. Use it, look at a lot of art, um, decide, like your, your taste is going to go a certain way for sure. I mean, I, I have subjective taste and, and I'm educated in art, so presumably I know what to look for, but really, my taste gets in my way. It's like you're looking at a pair of shoes and you know you have to have them. Well, it's just like that. You, you just fall in love and you don't even know why. She has courage and daring and a character and loyalty. Olga did something spectacular. She had, like, guts. Um, people tell me that I'm really courageous. I'm not courageous at all because if you don't understand the risks, you don't need the courage to do it.